Hey guys, uh, so I'm going to go over what we're going to do for the end of the year here, and uh, please pay attention. There's a document that you guys will definitely need to take a good look at, which is called the 2020 uh, End Project Plus Paper, uh, and it's really long, uh, but that does not mean that your uh, end stuff has to be all that long, to be honest. I just, you know, I was trying to be thorough. So anyway, do give that a look, but here is the basics, here are the basics, and then I want you to email me with any questions, or we'll do a uh, Google Meet so that you guys can ask questions. Uh, so we're finishing the book this week. Uh, next week, you're working on your end paper and project. Again, neither has to be super long. Uh, and then those obviously will get turned in before the end of the school year. Uh, so what you want to do is start thinking about what your topic will be, because the paper is basically part of the project. You're coming up, you're doing in a sh short essay format, an introductory paragraph, one body paragraph, and a short conclusion paragraph, uh, a little bit of what you want to say in the actual end presentation. The end presentation is worth more points, uh, but the short essay that you're going to do is going to help you organize that and prepare it. And then I guess I need to make sure that you guys are getting the essential skills uh, or have learned the essential skills that your teachers next year are going to assume that you've mastered. And that's basically how to write a good introduction, a good thesis statement, um, how to find uh, good quotations that will back up your point, and how to integrate them correctly and document them correctly, and all of that jazz that we were going over like all the time before the craziness happened. Um, so that's what I'm checking. And I just need a short essay that I can look at to do that. Um, and then you'll do a bit more of that with the presentation. But the paper really is like part of the presentation. Like you're going to be repeating yourself. You can even use the same quotes in both. So honestly, I feel like the paper is just, you know, um, like a rough draft kind of for the bigger presentation. Uh, and so the paper will be due on a Wednesday um, or a Thursday if you need it, I guess. But uh, and then the final week of school, uh, you'll just turn in your project and you get a choice between projects with two things. Uh, you can either write up a speech, which would basically be the paper, but like a little bit more, um, and then film yourself doing it as a speech and then sending me the video. Uh, that, Or if you don't want to do that, you could make a big PowerPoint presentation, but I would want you to record your voice on it, uh, and you'd have to use Screencastify or something like that. There might be other programs at work that I'm not even aware of. Um, so I'd want you to first check and make sure that you have a program or that you can get Screencastify to work. If it doesn't work, then you kind of have to do the video option. And you should be able to do that just on your computer using the computer's camera, just as I'm doing right now. So anyway, the big thing is take a look at that project and figure out what your topic is going to be for both the paper and the project, because it's the same thing. Um, and it's basically you're, you're looking at uh, what does the novel uh, seem to say about a particular topic like and and you I really with the project it's gonna be more than the fault in our stars because you have to like relate it to the fault from the fault in our stars but something else but start with the fault in our stars does that what does the fault in our stars say about life and how to live or what things are necessary and important for happiness or what things people assume are necessary and important for happiness and whether or not those things truly do bring happiness or not or what should we value as a society or what is true about life or love or pain or death? Uh, how do we react to cancer and injustice and things like that? Is life fair or not? You know, whatever. I've got a big list. I'm reading off the list right now. I'll let you guys finish the list and you can come up with something else. Um, but come up with a topic that is addressed in The Fault in Our Stars, but also other things that we've looked at over the summer or no, I'm sorry, the school year. Um, so, I mean, if you're talking about injustice, well, man, pretty easy to talk about injustice and the fault in our stars, but also injustice and in the hate you give, right? Uh, or of mice and men, if you want to go back that far, right? Look at anything. Uh, but I want you in the presentation part to talk about more than just the fault in our stars. The short little essay, that's just focused on the fault in our stars. Um, but the presentation you should be writing about or talking about um, more than that one book uh, expanded out to other things, which you can't quote because you don't have the books on you anymore. So you lucked out uh, with that. Uh, so do take a look at the document and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I miss you guys. I want to hear your voices. That's why I'm partially why I'm giving this assignment. Well, you might remember, I did tell you there's gonna be a big end speech. And now it's not going to be a big end speech in front of a lot of people. So I guess you looked out in that department too. But I miss you guys. And I want to hear your voices and see you hopefully. But you can do the PowerPoint option if you want.
uh, please email me with questions or attend a Google Meet, um, which I will schedule on the weekly update. Thank you. Bye.